Okay, welcome everybody. So if you're like me and you grew up with the Ninja Turtles, you're gonna be really excited about this one. We've got Daniel Eisler on behalf of Adversary Village, Master Splinter's initial physical access dojo, storytelling of complex adversarial. Thanks so much and here we go. Hi, uh, maybe most of you don't know me. Um, as you can see, I don't speak very well English. So I hope you enjoy this talk. Before I start, uh, well, you already see it, but it's important this very first announce. Okay, let's begin. Welcome, I am the Master Splinter, and no, I'm not coming from the Comic-Con. You can call me Rat, Splinter, Danny, or Daniel. Oh, awesome. Oh, hello, hello. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Since 2015, I'm the team leader of Friendly Rats, the social engineering unit at DreamLab Technologies in Chile. Friendly Rats, DreamLab. Uh, I have the honor to present in several outcomes. I don't know if you, you hear me? No, not too much. Yeah, I, ah, okay, uh, that's it. Uh, several outcomes associated with social engineering, such as uh, Eco Party in Buenos Aires, Argentina, uh, Osintomatico in Madrid, in Spain, Layer 8 in Rhode Island, and with a lot of nervous and joy, I will be, now is my fifth time presenting at DEF CON. So, thank you, Adversary Village. <laughs> uh, today I'm gonna need the help of two volunteers who wants to be real rats, ninja rats. So, to be more faster, I have, no, no, but raise your hand, two persons. I have one, two, uh, okay, thank you, buddy. No, no, but I will call you. Thanks, thanks. Don't go. So, uh, welcome to the dojo. Okay, all rats are welcome. I could assure that everyone here has social engineering success story. I'm sure your treasure it, um, even share it as an accomplishment or an adventure. In fact, I love to hear that stories after this with a beer, if you like. Now, I invite you to imagine that, not the beer, the story of social engineering. And imagine that like a day job, like us, Monday through Friday, all year long. That's why our first, first adage will be, there's no such a thing as luck. I don't know if you can say that in Vegas, but we don't trust in luck. Um, what I will try to do today is to share with you how training, preparation, techniques, and methods can help in a social engineering service or in a red team. So you can finally decide if luck really exists or not. It's difficult to make an eye-catching story when it has only existed in a report format. As you will see, I will do my best. So, it all starts in another country with a critical infrastructure company of that nation. We never expect to meet a client who is really willing to give us a clue as to what we are going to face. He just point us to a few possible locations where they might be found. Control rooms, sorry, control rooms, monitoring rooms, machine rooms, offices, and data center. One of the first thing 
we found about the assessment in, in the assessment stage was that due to the type of service this client provide, in the case of any unusual activity or unauthorized personal, the collaborators, any of them, were authorized to reduce or at least detain the intruder until certain forces arrive. <laughs> we start the first week with information gathering, focusing in the following three findings. Corporate ID. Thanks to a post in social networks, we found a 3.2 feet long version of the corporate ID with the personal ID of the, each of one of the developers. The second one was relevant profiles with exposed information. We identify four strategic, strategic collaborators account for identity impersonation and possible authorizations. And the third one was weak accesses and credentials. We found an internal login without two-factor authentication with the possibility of several consecutive attempts to enter wrong credentials. So maybe some of <laughs> some, you know what happened with that. The human, human, sorry. At this stage, it's a very important to consider, consider as burn the rat performing the interaction in the field for information gathering. He can't be part of the physical intrusion because collaborators could recognize him or her. This phase allows us to achieve two findings. First, the ID and the uniform design. We validated the design was the same as the one we found in the publication, in the post. Second one, we want to check if indeed the attitude of the cats, uh, if one of us perform an inappropriate action. So the burn rat took a picture of one of the accesses. In less than two minutes, minutes, he had one of the cats on his back, almost breaking the camera and demanding to delete the picture. So it's gonna be tough. How we organize in our unit? To deal with any type of service, we use the following distribution. We have four kind of consultants. Support, they are the ones who will immediately respond to all the requests needed by the alpha team, like information, supplies, uh, mobilization, buy some stuff, etc. The Q, like the Q agent. They are in charge for preparation devices, payloads, scripts, Wi-Fi, uh, malicious, web page, etc. Then the alpha can be one or an alpha team. There are experts in exploitation, execution, capture, cloning and exfiltration, recovery, and access enabling. And the last one, um, anyone here, you could be one of these ones today. Cover. We work with freelance consulta consultants, from psychologists to actors, dogs to elderly people. We use, uh, one time my son <laughs> used to work too, with five years old. <laughs> Uh, the resorts are always good as they are not emotionally charged or stressed about the success of the service. They comment, their comments are usually, this is the most fun I ever had or I will, wouldn't have imagined it will be so easy. When they say that, I start to see the hateful faces of the rats so I explained them that it looks easy thanks to the hard work of the older rats. That's why they managed to get inside the data center, manager's office, or implant a device in a critical area. So now you know our team. So this was the plan. 
or the organization. The uniform used by the cats was not available for sale to public. So our custom designer <laughs> made, made her own research to generate replicas. So yes, we have a custom designer. Uh, as you can see, it is necessary for the details, including the natural aging and soiling of each uniform. Uh, you can't always, you can't always buy it online or trust online stores, you know? This always happens when you buy online stores a uniform, so don't do it. Found a custom designer. So, what gonna do the Alpha team? They gonna dress like a central office collaborator. They will show up under the pretext of undertaking a review of sanitization protocols associated with COVID-19. Of course, this project took place in that time. Q, during the second week, our Q guys, uh, focus on four strategic profile email accounts. Probably everyone is familiar with this kind of tools. Who doesn't know? You can customize password dictionaries for brute force attack. So we achieve an effective access for, for four accounts thanks to the low restrictions and the weak password settings. Those were the results. So nothing very complex for these critical accounts. What gonna make support? Once inside of the email account, we blacklist or spam all the people where we are going to contact. Support team should permanently check the spam mailbox and if they receive an email from one of these contacts, respond as soon as possible and delete both the spam email and the sent email. So it's invisible for the user. And, like that. and another lethal weapon that we have, um, it will seem maybe absurd for you, but we register the phone number of our team with the name of the user of the compromised email account. So, the phone call will be displayed, the name in the screen. Um, I know it sounds basic, but believe me, in a real scenario, it can save everything. Cover. Few days before the execution, we sent an, a script, a manual, on protocols and preventive measures for COVID-19 to our uh, covering consultant. Uh, as a guideline, he were to be 100% focused on coverage. Uh, that is, lead conversation, initiate presentations, and argue about our presence, perform distraction actions to support the alpha team. So, in the preparation day, we met with the rats to review objectives and all relevant information, names, position, contacts, roles, uh, custom props, uh, technical language, pretext, uh, possible situations, issues, and solutions. Uh, and the last added value, it's a powerful weapon, more than the phone, a nice but lethal sticker. For each collaborator who was, was going to interact with us during the activity, that is a principle of reciprocity. It's so strong. So, let's start. Execution day. Support team, two consultants, one in the field and other remotely, managing uh, respectively <laughs> the email account and a telephone to impersonate the user profile. Yeah. <laughs> the alpha team was composed of two consultants a cover consultant who will pretend to be uh, our boss and two other alpha. We arrive in the first access. 
The Alpha team identifies itself as a corporate office staff. With technical language, we speak with the guard, ending with, don't worry, we already know the facility. The guard revealed, allows us access upon seeing our uniforms and credentials. So it is important to understand that once you are an interlocutor that considers you trustly, person or better yet someone who can resolve situation yeah yeah then you're standing in a privileged place the guard looked at us with appreciation and announced over the radio that we were going on our own okay upon entering we found ourselves in a maze uh, we knew we didn't have to look like strangers so we keep walking naturally. We walk through several corridors until we research a security door with proximity card opening with two factors of authentication. We stop in front of the access, simulating a conversation until a cat appeared, a maintenance technician carrying a large number of boxes. So we obviously um, very kind, kindly help him to open the door. On the other side was an armed guard cat who saw us in complicity with the technician plus the, plus the uniforms and credentials. He, he went from the angry cat gesture, you know, as a simple raised eyebrow of a cat who had just eaten, you know, like so we advanced through the corridors, very similar to those in Dead Star or Jurassic Park or Resident Evil, with double doors and control accesses. So we knock at the crystal door and a cat on duty appeared. Um, here it's very important for you to understand what is going on in the minds and behavior behavior of our consultants. Cover must be 100% focused on establishing a situation of comfort and trust with the cut. So it is essential to play the pretext, the game, without any doubt, without any hesitation. The Alpha team members had to be perceived as uh, cut as his companions, when in reality, they were counting the numbers of people, unlock and attended uh, equipment, available network points, access, cameras, and printed information. So let's talk about the truth or the truth before the truth. You know, we are workers, that is the truth, but the truth before the truth is our real objective. So the cat can't know that, can't know that, yeah. So, I need two volunteers. So I think there's one here. You say, and, and the, the guy there, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you can come, 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 and you too. Yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. So, we will play an improv situation. So, your name? Katya. And your name? Chris. 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 Thank you both. So, we're going to make this improv to know the truth before the truth. So, I'm going to give you this. Let me check. It's a noise cancelling headphones. Okay, so you can, Chris, 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 Chris. So the truth will be, you're gonna painting a fence. That is the truth, the reality, the action. But the real goal is gonna be, she need, needs to uh, touch her left eye. Like he, but the, the, the truth is painting a fence. No? 
Yeah, yeah. Let me check. Yeah, it's everything. Okay, let's start. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Rub, chili and rub. <laughs> so, let's start the improv. So, action. He's painting something. You can help. Watch out with the paint. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Look for your goal. <laughs> okay, give them an applause, please. <laughs> Thank you. But who was the real rat? Wait, wait, wait. Who was the real rat? Let's hear this. Hi, it's me. And this is a secret instruction. Thank you for being my real helper. The first thing I need you to do is to move your head you as if you were listening to music. Now, look at me. Give me another fun she had the real goal. To know that the the real goal was he touched his nose. To try to avoid in a friendly but way. Everyone the other so see the truth the is painting, you know? This game is yours. Oh, no. You have to get the other participant to touch his or her own nose. Break a leg. Now I leave you with a classic from my country, the true game of Tiro de Gracia. Yeah, now, now give them a pause. Nice, nice. Okay, now you understand the truth or the truth before the truth. Two minutes. <clears throat> no. Okay, this is gonna be fast. Um, okay. Coverage cons uh, consultant introduced himself and told the purpose of the visit that the cut on duty, uh, very doubtful and skeptical. Let's see them. I gonna be fast. So what happens here? We introduce ourselves. We send the email uh, from the account, and after that, we have the permission. So we talk with everyone in there. We give them the, the sticker. We send this email, and in this email says that the entire department is gonna be on field. So if you want to talk with them, you need to call to our phone, yeah? So. Stickers. So we start to walk in, in other places, other offices, and you know the, flu, the flow, you know, the call, the email, and we arrived to an strange office. Inside of this office was a few people, but many unlock equipment. One of them says, we don't block them to be able to monitor. To this day, I do not know how we contain our excitement, it was the data center cameras. And as an old man who just know only fans, I asked, what is that? What is that place? And he says, it's the data center. Oh, and it's in here? Yes, but only we and the technicians can enter. Then the cover rat seriously said, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish it here. So after that, we went to the data center. Now you're gonna lost our rap song with this. I'm gonna <laughs> we have this rap song. How we get in there? Sorry, technical problems. But we go in there. We go to the data center. We give the guy an, another sticker, and then we go to the rat hole. So. Sorry, you can't see everything, but nah, it's okay. Hope you enjoy it.